Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan. Okay, so we're gonna have socialites today. I've got the book note that I didn't do yesterday I brought today, and the Q&A that I didn't do yesterday I brought today. Okay, and <laughs> before we start, I have to show you the backing for my uh, my Secret Lives of Color because Karen is coming, my Karen, my quilter, is coming to drop some my Christmas time off, and she will be taking this one and the Will You Be My Neighbor. So I need to show you now before we have to wait till it comes back. So what I decided to do was sew the the um, you know paint chip pieces right next to each other. So there's a seam right there, and then I auditioned a few of my fabrics from Harmony, my wide back uh, for the top and bottom, and ended up with this light gray, this one, because I felt like it did not distract. It kind of just blended right in with the other, and so that's what I have. Now I am going to put stickers. I'm going to actually staple these to the quilt to the very edge. And I do this for the top, the top of the backing because this one has a top and the top of the front. That way she doesn't have to uh, guess or accidentally, you know, rotate something the wrong way. So there we go, you know, it's happened. So, you know, I learned this a zillion years ago, always mark everything, even if it seems super obvious because people may not, you know, realize it. And when I put this on there, I do staple it, that way it doesn't fall off. <laughs> and the little staple right on the very edge can easily come out. All right, so I have to fold this and then it is, she's gonna be here at 10 and it's almost 10 o'clock. So I will be right back. Well, the quilts are off to the spa. Yes. Okay, so I put my social lights up, four little six inch blocks. It really looks pathetic on the wall there, but soon I will get the setting part going and then uh, you know start setting them as I go because that's a goal I like to do. And we have the layout and so I think it's all going to work out. So this week it is the Empower Block by Carrie Nelson. And some of you have been quilting a long time, know Carrie from her patterns called Miss Rosie's. She now is in works for Moda Fabrics. Uh, so so cute and here is mine and i love how it turned out i'm just loving the blue and reds together they're so so good in these sort of lighter shades you know sort of lighter shades of red somewhat well maybe not that one uh, anyways let's go look at how um i thought about the fabrics well the first thing i'm going to do is what i'm going to circle the one that i'm doing because the size that I'm doing, because if I don't, I will glance down here and cut things to the wrong size. So I'm doing the six inch block. And so I always want to be sure that I am glancing at the right place. So let's look at colors. I am still loving this combo. So I wanna put a few more. I wanna put another one of this red and blue in here. I'm using my white uh, from Promise Me and then Fig Tree from multiple collections that I've had. Uh, for a couple years, some of them. Mm -hmm. So that's really fun. Now I did look at, I'll pop the picture up here. I did look at the layout and where, if I put the blocks in the same place as the layout, this one would be against a red star, but none of the red would be touching. So that's good. So for here, because this is a little bit bigger, whoops, let me get this down here. Because the, there is a little bit bigger triangle space right here, uh, I want to have a bigger print for that. Even though it's a six inch block, it's still a little bit bigger space. So uh, the blue, definitely I'm using this one. And the red, I'm deciding. Do I go with this, which does have some pretty roses that I could kind of fussy cut, you know, so that uh, I get some of the rose nest is not going to be that big. <laughs> it might only be this big for the rose, so that may not work. Or I could go with this red, which I'm kind of leaning towards this red. Uh, and I actually have two pieces of this, so I am going to cut from the smaller one instead of the bigger one, because that is more frugal. I don't want to use the big one if I don't need to. I'm going to use up this one. Okay, so we got that. Now it has some corners right here. And because part of my stars are going to, the setting stars are going to be the uh, browns, I have a couple of browns I could use. <clears throat> so I've got one with some red in it, and I have one that's just like this floral, but it's on the brown. So that is an option. I don't know, I'm not that keen on that one. 
Then I have this little bit darker one, which I really haven't used anywhere else. I'm not sure I want to go that dark, so I'm thinking no. And the same with the black. I haven't really um, been using that yet. And I know there's more blocks, but I'm just, I'm thinking that I actually don't want to even have these in the mix, these two. So I'm going to go and take them out of the bin and put them somewhere else. So I'm back to this one, which I think works really well because it has a lot of the red in it. <clears throat> and it's just these little corners. And uh, the inside portion of the layout, those setting stars, I don't know yet what I'm going to use. So, okay, so I'm gonna cut this one up. Because I'm doing two blocks the same, I don't think I mentioned that before, but I am. <laughs> I'm doing two in the red and two in the blue. Uh, so like these will go together and these will go together. So I just laid them out so I could see that and be sure I had everything cut correctly. Here it is. What is fascinating is that I didn't realize that it would create this line. Red, blue, red, red, see that? It creates a line across. And so what I did is I took a picture of this and did it in uh, a couple of variations. So let me just pop those up so you could see how that works. This would be so awesome, although I think I would do it in the nine inch size, <laughs> to just make a bunch of them in like a two color. You can make it scrappy, but just like this, blue and red or green and yellow or, you know, purple and pink or whatever combination you like and get this um, color bands going and then you can make all different designs. Just neat. I hadn't really realized that it would do that. It's kind of fun because I made a red body and blue points and the other one has a blue body and red points. Now you could flip it. You could do blue, you could do the whole thing blue and the whole thing red and then you wouldn't have this. It would be, um, I think there would be a tighter look of a basket sitting there. Anyway, there you go. What's the name of this one again? Empower. Empower by Carrie Nelson is this one for socialites. All right, let me do the book nook because <clears throat> it's cute. So this is a new book by So Emma Publication, which is a fat quarter shop, and it's called Simply Half Yards. What I like about this book, now they're running a sew along, but I am full up. Sew alongs are full up, so uh, I wasn't doing a sew along for this one, but I would, I would think about it maybe for later next year, doing one of the quilts out of here. Uh, but what's kind of neat is that a lot of the quilts in here don't use a lot of different fabrics and they make a pretty good size quilt because you're using a half a yard of fabric. Because, and I'll show you that, I kind of like the back section grouping um, and I'll tell you why when we get there. But let's, let's look at them. Let me just walk through them so you can see what the different the different patterns are in here. Uh, of course, you got the cover one. Then they've got some information here, tell you a little bit about them. But I'm just going to show you each uh, pattern. So there's, and I'm not reading it upside down, but this is kind of like a shooting star. That looks kind of cool. Several pages. There's another star, which um, is kind of like like you connecting together to make a star. That's kind of a neat one too. I like that. It's different. There's the graphic of it. It looks really cool. It would look really cool on the wall. I like this uh, air, kind of an arrow. What do they call this one? I can't read it upside down. You can read it. Uh, then there's the cover. And this is uh, churned ash with extra little elements on it. There we go with sashing. Here's another block called Lucky. Does that say Lucky? No, Legacy. That says Legacy. And they're, they all take, like they're not taking a lot of different fabrics to do them, which is nice. So if you're buying a half a yard, it will be in repeat. So you will have in repeat, but these are great ones. They're just wonderful. There is a super border that flipped, flipped out border again, which I think works really well for framing quilts where you have the white part in and the solid to the outside like that. There they are, all the little borders. Okay, and here's one that's a little bit asymmetrical. So it has these ch sort of chubby churned ashes and the rectangle units. Okay, let me just flip back to this other section. Here's another quilt from in here. Lots and lots of good ones. This is the one that they're doing for the sew along right now. I believe this is the one. So that's a really fun quilt. But I wanna to get to this section back here where they're, 
Okay, this is still that quilt. That's a little bit bigger quilt in here. Ah, here's the one I, I like. They're making these great big stars with not, you know, great big uh, quilts rather with not a lot of fabric. So this one's 48 by 48. So you can make it a little bit bigger, be a cute baby quilt. See, it has four, f five fabrics in your background. Um, a few other ones in here. See, there it is sewn up. Isn't that, is that it? No, this is the next one. This is the next one, which is 60 by 60. 60 by 60 is like the top of your queen size bed. Like the whole, the top, if you just took like from your pillows to the base, made like a square, that is how big this is, which is a fabulous size. Um, that's what I like the, this grouping of them here in the back. Here's one that's got a little bit, um, you know, fewer fabrics like, well, no, they're all about maybe about five fabrics, whatever that is, but I like them a lot. Another 60 by 60, I think this one here too. Super cool. Super cool. Look at that. Isn't that great? And it is, I think 60 by 60 when you put the border border out around it. So those are the ones that I think are really, really neat that I would like to do a sew along with something uh, like this size um, sort of big upscaled blocks. Yeah, I like it. I like these a lot. All right, I want to then, let me just show you, I want to show you a couple of bundles of fabric uh, and then we'll do the Q&A, okay? So I've got, I've got one of the clubs from the Fat Quarter Shop for K Facet. And I've always loved his quilts and his fabric lines, but I don't work with them a lot. So I thought I'm going to get one of the clubs. So the clubs comes with the pattern. So if you buy this, they're fat quarter club, then it gives you a pattern for what to do with them. And they're all color coordinated, you know, like this. So I think I'm just going to show you this bundle today. So um, otherwise we won't get to Q and A. So here, here we go. I just want to show you that, you know, when I was out teaching on the road, there would be people who, look at that, they open that up, it's like, oh, people who would use K fabric for my projects and always thought, oh, I need to collect some of that. And I've had a few pieces here and there, but primarily I've not, I've not really collected his fabric and I love it. So I don't know, I thought maybe for 2023, that might be what I do is make something or a couple somethings with Kafe's fabric. Look at this. Just look, look, look how big these are. <gasps> Two hands over that flower. It is spectacular. And then a lot of stripes and the colors are rich and deep. It's kind of like working with Tula's fabric. They actually with the same company um, where it's a lot of saturated colors. You know, there's no pastels or anything in here. Well, he does do some pastels, but a lot of richer colors. Here it is on gray and look at the little shadowing behind there. Just, <clears throat> oh, I like this. I like that in repeat. It's upside down to you, but um, I consider that the stem, the green part. Here are these flowers again in big juicy colors. Oh, there you go. You can see the stem down on your side. Look at that, pinks, hot pinks, fuchsia. Oh, the rainbows. Look at that. Ah, there's, oh, look at the, on the red. To shift this over so you get to see it there. There we go. <clears throat> there's these little chunky, he has like, and there's a couple of sets now of these so that you can buy particular, like there's a set of zigzags and a set with a lot of black and white in it. Um, or you can just get, or you can get the club. Um, he has one called Millifori. And so you can get like a package of just the Millifori prints. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. But I totally told, oh, look at the dots. They look a little bit like from a distance. It's hard to see them up front, but you see the little flowers. See the blues look like little flowers? You can see it, but up close, it's a little harder to see that. Great big tiger lilies and another sort of pebble stone. Those are all super fantastic. <laughs> I love them. <clears throat> okay, let's do some Q&A. I will go put it up here so that it can join the other four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do look kind of small and, and skimpy on the wall, but yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay, so today it is apple cider day. 
that is my favorite memory as a kid going to the apple orchards uh, in New Jersey where we lived and picking apples and having apple cider, cold apple cider we would have. It just tastes really good from the, from the uh, apple farms <laughs> to the orchards, apple orchards, right? Maybe there are apple farms, I don't know. The other thing you'll see on the list there is kind of a funny because there are, I don't know, 150, 180 uh, uh, holidays, 250, 800 million holidays for the each month. And one of them is uh, Mary to a Scorpio Day being the astrological symbols. So several of our ambassadors are married to a Scorpio. So they thought that was pretty funny because apparently you know if you are. I myself am a Sagittarius married to a Gemini. So I don't know about those Scorpios, but uh, I just thought that was pretty funny. So I had to put it on for today. Okay, let's do some Q&A. And then I got a little mail call at the end. So Carolyn asks, do I keep rolls of batting in my house, or any kind of batting, or do I just have everything done at the spa? And no, Carolyn, I do keep batting. I do my own quilting as well, not as much right now, um, but I do have batting and here is proof. I even have a big roll of it. I have packs of it all in one of the closets in my, uh, in my bedroom. <laughs> you gotta use what you gotta use. Um, <laughs> okay, so another one we had was uh, Karen asked, I want to be sure I can read this properly. So Karen asked, what is a setting? So I use the word setting and layout interchangeably. So when you put your quilt blocks together, the pattern that it makes and the directions for doing that is called a setting or it's the layout. There isn't any difference. There, you'll find some people call it one thing, some people call it another. So that's what that is. It is how you put together the blocks, the sashing, the border, any alternate things that go on, the setting, the layout. Okay, so um, uh, let's see. I forget who, I didn't write the name down on this one who sent it, but there's a, a question. And uh, she wanted to know if I have a go-to background fabric and how much do I keep on hand? I really don't. I vary greatly because a fabric for the background has to complement the block fabric. And so white might work, off-white might work, a yellowy light yellow might work, teal might work, aqua might work, black might work, charcoal might work. So I don't keep any particular one. Um, so I sometimes will buy a couple yards of a particular one that I'm going to work with like for our sew along or of course I have my own fabric lines which almost all of them have a light in them they don't all sometimes like sleepover doesn't have a light so I'm using promise me's light for that one usually because it's a white based um, so I don't yeah no the answer is no I don't really have one specific and I don't have any amount like that uh, okay so I think that's good. <laughs> that covers those questions. I'd like to have a little mail call. Eve's from, um, oh, no, I should know that. Yeah, Pennsylvania, I thought it. Eve from Pennsylvania, she sent me, real, look at this pretty fall card. Doesn't that look gorgeous? So nice. And she told me, she asked if I could use a little bit more horse fabric for the horse quilt for my great niece. And I said, sure. So I think I'm getting pretty close now. If I have enough variety that I can do her horse quilt and have just a little bit more variety than that layer cake. So thank you so much, Eve. Mwah. And I got this from Donna in Kentucky. So I have birthday things, I think, coming for the next few days. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday is coming up. So this is from Donna in Kentucky and she sent me a Panera's card. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is from Lori in California. Wait, let me show you the card. And I haven't opened it yet, but ah, so pretty. Look at that, look at that. And gorgeous paper. So let me just peek in here. Surprise, surprise. Ah, oh, there's an ornament. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look how cute. He's a gnome. Look at this gnome. Oh my goodness. Can you see him? Yeah, let me put him, the white paper behind him. Because then there you go. Look, look how cute he is with the little stars on his head. Oh, and I have a white Christmas tree with red ornaments. And she sent me mushroom and strawberry fabrics. <laughs> how cute. 
There's strawberries. And here's, look at these mushrooms. Look at those. And these, ah, I love them. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you, everybody. Okay, socialites. We are on Empower. And if you are interested, if you're interested in doing a half yard quilt later next year, leave me a comment about that because I would like to know if that appeals to any of you. All right, my friend, <laughs> I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.